Hello awesome scholars. This is a short video to review some of the important scientists and their contributions that you need to know for your upcoming unit test. The first one is Carolus Linnaeus who came up with a two name system for naming organisms. Remember the first word in the name is the genus, the second word is the species. A scientific name is written in italics and the first letter of the genus is capitalized. Now, if you were to write the actual scientific name out on paper, you would underline it versus um, putting it in italics. But if it is actually typed on a document and that you may see on your test, it is appropriately italicized. The next geek or scientist is Sunimi Kubadera, and he was the first man to videotape a live giant squid. Now, before 2004, there had never been a giant squid that was seen alive. You will only see the um, corpse or the dead body of a giant squid. But Tsunami Kubadera was the first scientist to actually videotape a live giant squid. Our next geek is Carl von Frisch who was born in Austria and died in Germany. And he actually won the Nobel Prize for Physiology in 1973 for his work on bee behavior. What Dr. Von Frisch did was that he figured out that bees could actually see in color. So he took a bunch of cups, as you see here. And in one experiment, he had all the cups filled with honey of different amounts. And he made the blue cup that you see here a color that was similar to flowers. Now, even though the cup did not have the most honey in it, the bees actually went for the blue cup because it was the one that they were attracted to because they could actually see the color and actually stood out amongst the other cups. Dr. Von Frisch also noted that bees perform a dance to alert other bees as to where pollen is. So Dr. Von Frisch's two accomplishments or contributions were that he noted that bees could actually see in color and that they perform a dance to let other bees know where the pollen is. Then we have Dr. Eugenie Clark that we talked about um, when we were discussing the chondrichthys. Remember, she is the scientist who actually found um, shark repellent. Remember in the flat fishes that we talked about in the actual PowerPoint, the other video, if you review that video, you actually see um, a more detailed discussion about what Dr. Clark did. But the main thing so about Dr. Clark is that she did extensive work in um, poisonous tropical fishes and shark behavior in response to the repellent that is released. As you see here, just to review, here is the flatfish here. And as I mentioned, it produces a secretion called pardaxin that will disrupt the cell membrane of the shark and make the shark feel like it's in shock or still for a moment. And last but not least is Jacques Cousteau, who produced over 115 documented films on marine life aboard his ship Calypso. And this five most important contributions are that he pioneered scuba gear after World War II, intervened to restrict international whaling, led the campaign to prevent French nuclear waste dumping in the Mediterranean Sea, helped to engineer underwater base camps for scientists to actually live and conduct research underwater, and of course several books, TV shows, and lectures to bring awareness um, to the beautiful and dedicated delicate marine life like the sea tiger that I actually showed in the video where we discussed um, Dr. Cousteau in more detail. Well, that about wraps it up for the five geeks um, for whom you're responsible. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or contact me in or consult me in class. Have a good one.